in Puerto Jimenez and apparently Finca Morfo is quite a bit farther than we thought. The taxi tried to charge us $30. We denied and now we're gonna hitchhike and or not make it there and camp. This friendly fellow gave us some very good information about getting some public transport tomorrow and it's much cheaper. So we're just gonna see what happens tonight and not worry about it too much because it always works out. We actually got really lucky with this hitchhiking situation. It was getting dark, nobody was picking us up, and we just went into a grocery store to get some fruit and water. There we met this couple, and we asked if they could give us a ride, and they immediately said no. Then once they came out of the grocery store, they asked us where we were going, and when I pulled it up on Google Maps, they realized that they were actually driving past where we were going. So we got a ride to Finca Morpho, and it all worked out perfectly. to think of more folks. It's a cute little campsite. So at one point, it'll probably be like little by little. Outside wall art decoration. That's what I want to. But it just depends on how inspired and motivated the person leading that project. Traveled up from David, Panama to this farm called Finca Morpho on the Osa Peninsula. And I have not taken really any video since being here, just because there's been a lot going on. So I'm going to show you around. This is me sitting in Mink and Mackenzie's hammock. That's their tent. This is me going to poop on the composting toilet. With a view. This is me going to sit on the beach platform. And here's me going to do some yoga in this beautiful yoga shala. Here's me in the recycling and upcycling center where all trash found or brought to this site is processed here. And with this fine machine, it is turned into eco bricks, a lot like these bad boys which then you can use as building materials, which have been proven to withstand an 8.2 magnitude earthquake. So yeah, very cool thing they got going on here. There's not been a single bit of trash that has left the farm in about three and a half years now.
but essentially there's a bunch of fishies down there living in that water which is being recycled through and their fertilizer their poop is being used to then help grow these plants which are not limited to just being grown out of soil as you can see they're growing out of just like this rocky material and growing very well so it's a very cool system called aquaponics here's me taking a nice beachfront shower And this is me walking through the main communal area on the farm. We got the kitchen here. We gather three times a day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, hold hands in a circle, sing some songs, bless the food, bless the kitchen fairies for all the blessings they give us. It's a beautiful spot. Here's the dishwashing station, the main communal area with the hammocks, gather here in the evenings to play music, all the goods. We got the wood fire ovens, whipping up delicious things such as banana bread, cacao infused <laughs> bread. This is me in the freshly finished library. This is a cob structure. It was one of the group projects that was going on when I got here. We just finished it two days ago. Um, so yeah, pretty much all of it is built out of cob, which is just a mixture you make with clay and like this like sandy material. So this area will be filled with a bunch of books. It has the Wi-Fi, which is actually pretty good in here. Um, so people can come in, chill out, work on projects, do whatever. And this has been in progress for about a year now. And we had this celebratory mud fight and slip and slide that ran down this track on that tarp. You know it's up. I'm gonna go back now to Sweden to um, yeah, celebrate my family's birthdays. My mom turns 50 and my brother takes 18. And This is a f***ing medical emergency! Ride the metro dogs. So, the past two nights we've been staying at this beautiful property. We've got the hookup. <laughs> we like hitchhiked into town from Finca Morpho. The plan was to go to um, Drake Bay, Drakes Bay, on Wednesday to dive, scuba dive. We're doing like a video trade, which I'm super grateful for. But <clears throat> I got these like bites, what I thought were bites on my arm, and it's actually looking a lot better now, but I'll show a picture of it before. And one of my nurse friends, Susie, who's staying at the farm, checked it out the day before we we're supposed to dive when we we're still at the farm and she was like, oh, that looks like a staph infection. So we went into town. I didn't really know what to do. We were just gonna try and hitchhike and we got a late start on that because they were like treating my staff with some herbal remedies. And then we got picked up by this guy named Gordon uh, in Puerto Jimenez. And he was like, you know, you're getting a really late start to try hitchhiking into Traques Bay because it's so far away, it's just like a dirt road and not very many people are traveling and it was becoming sunset. So he was like, how about you just come stay at our property instead? You can camp or do whatever. So we went with him. He has this beautiful beachfront property. The tide's out right now. Normally the water's like right up to here. And we came with him and then I woke up the next day and my staff was like a lot worse. There was like all of these were filled with pus. It was really uncomfortable and he was willing to drive us to the road so we could hitchhike the rest of the way early in the morning but i didn't feel up to go scuba diving at all so we ended up staying at his house all day that day and all day yesterday letting me heal up all right my phone filled up with space but 
just deleted everything. And I was saying that I texted my doctor, who's a naturopathic doctor, usually doesn't condone me taking antibiotics. And I told him what was going on, sent him photos, and he was like, yeah, man, like, that stuff's not worth messing around with, just get on antibiotics. So, went to the pharmacy yesterday, got antibiotics, been taking them on my fourth dose right now, already clearing up a lot, as I've showed you. Um, feeling a lot better. So, we told the scuba diving people um, what happened, and they rescheduled us to hopefully tomorrow. So now we're going to make our way out to the road in like the hottest part of the day and try and hitchhike to Dracus Bay and figure everything out once we get there. Haven't had like internet in a bit, so it's been kind of hard arranging these types of things. So we're just manifesting the best and going for it. But yeah, this property is gorgeous, as you can tell. Uh, this is a house that's under construction. Gordon wants to do a lot of cool things here have like retreats, have like a permaculture farm going. There's a lot that he could offer on this land. So I'm just gonna show you around a little bit. Could be a beautiful like wedding venue too. Um, they have, I am not even kidding or exaggerating when I say this, the best pineapple on the entire planet grows right here. Like, normally pineapple tastes acidic. This is like the sweetest. It's like almost tart. Oh, I don't even know. It is so delicious. I like, I dream of this pineapple. We've been eating it every day. Fresh, cold coconut water in the fridge. Holy this pineapple. It is seriously unbelievable. It is so good. I could not believe, like I've never had a fruit in my life that tastes that drastically different than the average version of that fruit. Like, except maybe apples. Um, and then here is his house, and this is where we've been staying, and when we originally got picked up by him, he pitched us like, oh yeah, we could put up a tent in his yard, and then when we got here, he's like, do you guys want a bed? So, we've been eating good. Last night we were watching movies and eating popcorn in the jungle, had a nice bed to sleep in. He gets this fresh mountain spring water from up in the Corcovado. Mountains, I think that's what they're called. But yeah, so that's the property. We're getting ready to leave. And Emily's probably annoyed with me because I have not even started packing yet. So I'm gonna go spy on her. Okay. We got hooked up in this taxi for $5 and it's a 30 kilometer drive. Shout out Carlos. We're there. We're there. successfully hitchhiked all the way to Drac Bay and we didn't even pay. Um, we did trade a crystal to a taxi cab driver for the ride. <laughs> 